and does all that for us. And that's the reason why, in the end, by the way, many people, if you read the Gospels, one of the main reasons that people uh, come to believe in Jesus Christ is they, um, they read the Gospels and they see Jesus. They see his claims, they see his humility, they see uh, his grace, they see his courage. And you read through the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and you're amazed at this. And some years ago, there was a, um, uh, a pastor I knew who was confronted by a non-believer who said, I would believe in, in God if you can give me a watertight argument. And the guy said, the, the minister said, read the New Testament. And uh, he said, you mean there's a watertight argument there? He says, well, not exactly. There's Jesus Christ. And he says, you know, what if God didn't give us a watertight argument to lead us to himself? What if he gave us a watertight person? against whom in the end there is no argument. Read him and you'll see there's almost no way to account for the beauty of this, of this person unless maybe he is who he said he is. Okay, 